Hi, welcome back to McClatchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClatchy and today we are looking at 2022's General Maths exam in Queensland, Australia with a focus on paper one, which was our short answer questions for annuities. And if you are anywhere else in the world or the country, do not worry if you're studying annuities, this video could help you as well. Let's get straight into it with our first short answer question worth four marks, question 17. An investment of $50,000 that compounds interest monthly is modeled by the recurrence relation a with the subscript n plus 1 equals 1.00375 multiplied by a with the subscript of n where a at time 0 is equal to 50,000. The question is asking us what would be the advertised interest rate per annum compounding monthly. Now if you're not really sure what you're doing this could be a little bit of a confusing question. Um, you should know what a recurrence relation is and we can pull that straight off our formula sheet in Queensland and hopefully elsewhere lucky. Okay so this tells us what the basic recurrence relation is for a compound interest um, situation. We can see that it matches very much our recurrence relation that we're given in the question. And what we need to remember is that we're being asked to find the interest rate per annum. Now it might be tempting just to go, well that's R here, so let's match it there and just write down 1.00375. But that would not be correct. Let's talk about why um, R is not just that number there. Okay, so firstly we need to remember that R is actually made up of one plus the interest rate per compounding period, not per annum. Okay, also if we were to rearrange this formula, we're going to subtract one from both sides, we find out that the interest rate is equal to R take away one. Okay, so we can do that with our information here, 1.00375 take one away, that gives us a first mark for actually substituting that information into the right rule, so that was an easy one, and we get interest rate is equal to 0.00375. Now you might be tempted to think that you're done, you're not. Now remember, we're given, um, whenever we use this formula, whenever we use the recurrence relation, we use the compounding rate per period. Um, we need to find the interest rate per year, per annum means year. So we need to actually change this rate, which is currently a monthly rate, into a yearly rate. So the first thing we're going to do is multiply that by 12 and we'll get 0.045. Still not finished. Okay, remember rates are percentages. We're asked to find the interest rate, not an interest decimal. So we now need to multiply that by 100 to get to a rate which gives us an interest rate of 4.5% per annum. So there's a few little steps in here. You need to understand the difference between R and I. You need to understand um, that this R value in here is a compounding rate per period, never per annum, unless the compounding period is annually. And you also need to understand how to change a decimal into a percentage. So a few skills being demonstrated there. And that's our second mark for this question, providing an annual interest rate as a percentage. Okay, part B now asks us, how many months would it take for the value of the investment to exceed $51,000? Bearing in mind, we start at $50,000. That's our um, A0 is our principal, our starting amount. We want to work out how long is this rate going to take us to get us to $51,000. Now, um, you need to remember that this question's worth two marks. It could, it's actually very easy to just plug this into your calculator and press a few equals buttons using the iterative function, get the answer, but it's worth two marks. So they are looking to see some working. So um, knowing that this is $50,000 is your starting point, your end point is more than $51,000. It's not gonna take a very long time to get there um, with an interest rate of 4.5% per annum. So um, there won't be a terrible amount of working. So you'll probably want to show every value. Okay, so we're going to write down what method we're using. We're using this formula or the iterative function on our calculator and show the values after every period, every monthly period. So using our iterative function on our calculator, what that means is I am literally going to type in $50,000 into my calculator and press the equals button. It will drop it from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. Then I'm going to multiply it by 1.00375 and then press the equals button again. Now once I do that, um, I've told them what method I'm using, that's an appropriate method. So I start with A0 at the time of starting. Once I press the equals button, I'm gonna get my first value of 50,000. Press my equals button again. 
I'm going to get this one here. Now be careful not to cancel out your calculator and round off mid question. You can round off as you're writing your answers down to two decimal places, but keep your calculator precise. Don't change anything, just keep pressing that equals button. So A3 will be 50,564, A4, A5 and A6. We can see that between periods A5 and A6, we are crossing over. So it's actually going to take six months for us to get there. We also need to write a statement at the end. It's not just good enough to write A0, A1, A2 and so on. You need to write that statement at the end that it will exceed at six months and that's our second mark or fourth mark for the question. Right, we're on to question 25 now. This one's worth five marks. It's a fair bit of the paper um, dedicated to just annuities. A couple borrow money to complete home renovations. Their bank has loaned the amount at 2.45% per annum, compounding monthly with repayments of $993.14 every month for 15 years. Determine the amount of money borrowed worth three marks. Now, this is a challenging question for a short answer paper. Just because it's a short answer doesn't mean that it's easy. Okay, so the first thing we need to think about, this is a reducing balance loan. And if nothing else, even if you don't know where to start with this, I would always say to students, state your variables. So state all of the variables that are going to be given to you in this question and make any calculations you need to out of those variables. So we can start off with our um, payment, um, which we're told in this question is $993.14 a month. That is M. So write down M. Okay, now N is the number of compounding periods in total for the whole loan. So we've got 15 years, it's compounding monthly, so 15 times 12 gives me 180 months. The next variable is going to be my interest rate. I'm gonna take this annual rate, divide that by 12 to get a monthly rate, and that will be 0 0.002. And actually stating your variables was worth a mark, so definitely worth doing. Okay, the next step I would say to students, even if you don't know what to do next, pick a formula and use it. There's only a couple of formulas um, for annuities. This is a type of annuity. You've only got a choice of two. Um, we need to find that amount at the beginning. And we know that reducing balance loans are types of annuity. So you've got a choice of two formulas. You've got the one with the positive power. You've got the one with the negative power. You've got a 50-50 chance of choosing the right formula. So pick one. Now, obviously you want to get the most marks possible. How do you pick the right formula? Well, reducing balance loans. So the reason, the way I do it is that you are reducing the amount that you owe to the bank. That's a takeaway. Reducing means takeaway. Takeaway power. That's the way to remember it. So we've now got all of the variables we need for this formula. We need to find A, the amount at the beginning. So we're simply going to substitute everything into that formula. So if I put that information in there, you can have a little pause if you wish and have a look at where all that information's gone. We're going to work this out very carefully on our calculator. And by picking that right formula and doing the substitution, we got our next mark. So you'll notice here um, that we're now working in small stages. What I've done here is I've done this part on the calculator and written that down. I'm not going to round it on the calculator. I'm going to multiply it by 993.14 and I'm going to get the amount of money borrowed was $150,000 and 29 cents. And making sure your answer is presented with the dollar sign was actually worth the mark. You didn't get the mark if you didn't use the unit. So remember, this is money. Money has two decimal places and it has a dollar sign. So always use your units. Part B. Write a recurrence relation for the amount owing after n months. So we're going to pull off our formula sheet now, a recurrence relation. This is kind of like the first question we did, but in reverse. So now we're picking out our recurrence relation for reducing balance loan. We're going to write that down on our sheet and get our first mark for picking the right rule. Now we need to substitute the information from our question into this formula. Now, this skill here, R, knowing that r is equal to 1 plus i that's an important skill that you needed to memorize for your exams memorize that if you're in year 12 now and this is going to hit you twice on this exam if you didn't get it the first time you probably won't get it this time either so that's why it's good to know and good to memorize also understanding the different variables in this question capital r means the repayment i don't know why they used m for one formula and r for another formula you've just got to deal with it. So uh, in this case, capital R will be this amount of 993. Now, once again, 
don't be fooled into just substituting 2.45 in here. 2.45 is a yearly rate and we've already converted that for part A into a monthly rate. We're just going to use that from our previous part of our question, 0 0.00204. We're going to add 1 to it and we're going to substitute that into our formula. We know that R was equal to that, so we're going to put that in here, replacing the little r and replacing big R. And we've determined our recurrence relation and we've finished the question. Yay! Well, if you found this video helpful, why not engage with us further here at the channel? You could follow us on social media. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Tell someone about the video or even tell us in the comments. Love to hear your feedback. You could also like and subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you always know when the next video is available. If you've got any questions about anything you saw today or you just want to have a rant about how much you hate annuities, why not email me at mcclutchymass at yahoo.com. Always open to your feedback, questions and comments there too. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm Natalie McClutchy. Have a wonderful day.